creates a perfect marriage between the genotypic information, which is new technology, and this old phenotypic information that's existed for 50 or 60 years. And when we make that marriage between the genes the animal got and the predictions that we can create through the information that we've had for the last 60 years, it really creates the opportunity to skip a generation and also be on a whole new trajectory of genetic progress of the genomic proofs is another take-home message. January of 09 is when genomics became official. At that time there was a lot of questions about are these predictions accurate? How accurate are they? Will they hold up over time? But now two years into it we can say we had these bulls in January of 09 they had no daughters. Now two years later those same bulls have daughters milking in these herds. So now they're daughter proven bulls. And how is the stability held up? And the bottom line is that it's held up better than predicted and therefore the accuracy of the new predictions is even stronger than the predictions we had in January of 2009. There's also a lot of adjustments that the model goes through to make improvements to make today's adjustments the best they can be going forward. The adoption of genomics in North America has been extremely fast. It's extremely exciting to see how many people are willing and able and want to take advantage of this new technology and put it to use in their herds. So one of the things that comes up and is questioned is, should I also be genomic testing on my dairy? And that's a great question. And in some extreme cases where we really want to focus on the best genetics of the herd, it's an okay strategy. However, it's still a significant investment. If you have a thousand heifers on your dairy and you want to genomic test them all, it's about $40,000 with today's prices. And so that $40,000, just like any investment on the dairy, needs to be looked at as far as opportunity costs. Is there other opportunities to invest this $40,000 that will create a bigger return on that investment than genomic testing our heifers? And in a lot of cases, it simply uh, is a better investment to just simply use higher quality semen across the entire herd or likewise do a completely different non-genetic related investment than spending it on testing your heifers. Just like with any investment, if you test your heifers, you have to do something with the results to make that, uh, that investment pay off. Many people will say I'm going to use sex semen on the top half of the herd versus call the bottom half of the herd, which again is a very good strategy. However, we have to ask, are we really more accurate in selecting, enough more accurate in selecting the top half of the herd with genomic testing them than we would be just based off of parent average. Finally, it's extremely important that we build our own genetic plan. With genomics, we have a faster car. And so just like if, in, if we have a faster car and we're going in the wrong direction, we get three times as far away from our desired destination than we did before. So it's extremely important to build a genetic plan, be committed to that genetic plan, and put it in place. And when I say that, it means talking about where you want to put emphasis on. Do you want the emphasis on production? Do you want emphasis on health traits? Do you want emphasis on type traits? And not only do you want emphasis, but how much emphasis. There's only 100 points of emphasis, and you need to figure out how much emphasis we put in each of those areas to make sure you have a genetic plan that builds the future kind of cow that you want for your dairy.